Hello everyone, I'm Bad Pan, and I've with over 100 friends. In this video, we'll actually see how we can actually use VHS Pro, paid asset that you guys can actually use to add VHS aesthetics to your game. It's a very cool asset that you guys can actually use in your game that I actually used in my own game, Fractured Psyche, that you guys can actually download the link in the description. On one big announcement that I have is that I'm actually working on porting my game, Fractured Psyche, on Android as well. By the end of the video, I will actually show you guys the settings of the VHS Pro that I actually use for my own game, Fractured Psyche. This video will be put inside a series of videos covering Unity tips and tricks you can check them out through the channel so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did the like would be amazing you can subscribe to see more contents like this you can tell me any comments any opinions any suggestions or any scenarios you have i would be very happy to answer them and if i can i would actually cover it and we can all learn from each other with all that being said let's put on the mask and begin so i've put up a sample scene it is actually a scene from one of my video endings that i actually did in my previous videos because we just want to test out vhs pro is a paid asset you have to add it to your project if you don't have it you can go ahead and go to your my assets or to your asset store and add it to your project since now I don't have you know access to that I cannot show you that right now but it's actually very easy you just add it there it, or if you have the extracted version of the file as I did you can just drag and drop it here into your project and just use the VHS Pro once the project has been added you can go ahead and select your camera and go here click on this add component and press on VHS Pro and this is VHS Pro and by clicking on it it will be added to a project and normally it is something like this there are lots of effects available by the end of the video i'll show you my recommended version and the version i used in my own game fractured psyche that you can actually download from a link in the description which is actually getting ported on android as well i'm actually working on it so on vicious pro uh, the first thing we have is custom texture i don't have anything i don't use anything on there and uh, i'll show you guys the things i use so bleeding is actually this texture you know texture moving as you see this is the bleeding you can just deactivate it i activate it and i put it on one i usually like two but two is like you know very blurry and stuff so uh, 1.5 or one would be okay so i usually put it on one you can put it on three phase or you know two phase something but i put it on all three phase you can just give it you know your custom i put it on custom and i give my custom you know resolution you can put it on 120 which gives it like this kind of texture clunky and you can even give it 240 480 and you can put it this one on two to make it you know really like retro style like a tv or something but you know as i said 480 and one is okay and for the fish eye it's black box that appears here is the fish eye you can actually add but i don't recommend this i put it for example like 25 or something i actually have it in my game and i put it not like that so this amount is okay you know you can add cutoff here you see it is black that comes down so like this one is okay or maybe one is kind of okay this is the fade to make it more natural i don't actually don't touch this and uh, one thing is this settings you can actually add or increase or decrease it i usually add it but for example for the focus you can activate or deactivate it through script as well and uh, i'm gonna actually create a video on that as well tweak some settings from the from the script that you have i actually used it for my vhs transition for my game's start menu i will actually cover that as well in the next couple of videos so this is for the noise the noise you see here you can give it you know resolution just give it the same resolution as your lines per height i usually give it the same resolution but you can give it you know 240 to make it more tv style a uh, film grain is this grain that is on the screen and it is like tv stuff as you see uh, the signal noise as you see the color changes i gave it the signal noise and i put it like make it a little bit pink pink something like this so it actually looks more like a tv line noise is actually a noise that comes around as you see it comes appears you can just deactivate it if it actually looks bad on your tv and there's a tape noise as you see this is the tape noise you can just deactivate it and it won't appear again i don't activate it for my game they're floating line stretch lines and interlace interlacing is actually important this is the camera moving you can add these effects for example for a jump scare or something i actually used it i gave it the settings for uh, the remember thing that i created for my game the memory thing that you transition to by default i don't put it usually put it here but you can actually put it on default value you can put it on default value but i don't usually use it so the next important thing that i actually use is a signal tweak i don't actually touch it here here, but you can just you know to make it more like i've seen games with this setting you can just tweak it around in this vhs pro settings but this is not what i touch and you can actually tweak these settings through script i will actually show you guys in the next couple of videos once i'm actually creating that start menu effect and the other thing is this pink and green thing these these are not important the important stuff that actually work touch this one and make it like this more beautiful and you know scary and stuff you can touch these values 
to your liking and this is the gamma cor correction and stuff so for the effect of the memory that i created for my own game it was actually like something like this i don't know i'm not sure i'll show you guys in the following minutes so no worries so now i'm gonna go ahead and show you the setting that i used for my own game i'm gonna load up one of the scenes of my own game the room scene as you see i'm actually working on porting the game on android let me just show you guys a glimpse of what i created for the android settings so this is actually a port of well, how i'm actually doing it on my own i'm actually porting the game on android i have to optimize it there's an fps controller walking i have to add running and we have the interact and flashlight here i actually created this stuff i don't need to sit down and stuff so the important thing was not this one it was actually the setting that i used for my game i'm just gonna show you guys so i'm just gonna open up my camera go to his vhs pro on the settings as i said 480 i put it on one because the text would look blurry if i actually put it on two so one is okay and uh, i have some fish eye these are the my fish eye settings to actually make it more beautiful used film grain here signal noise and i have interlacing activated here in this scene that is one of the things i use so these are the settings i actually use for my own game to gain that you know retro vhs style while actually maintaining the quality as well one of the things i said i'll show you guys was the signal trick that i use for the memory section of my game so i'm just gonna open up middle of the forest scene and so this is my vhs pro the settings i'm actually using is bleed stretch is actually two these are the effects i actually use for the signal tweak to actually make it look like a memory and you know make it a little bit scary and different to the actual one so you guys can actually use these settings as well so that was a quick and simple explanation of the vhs pro and an asset you can actually download and you have to pay for it of course this is a very cool asset you can you guys can actually download it i'll put a link in the description to it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did the like would be amazing you can subscribe to see more contents like this you can tell me any comments any suggestions or any scenarios you have i'll be happy to answer them and if i can i will actually cover it hope all the best for you thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video